Hey guys and gals, what's crack a lacking? Spicy here. Welcome to another video on my channel. Well, today is the day. I am picking the uh, the winners for the uh, the subscriber giveaway. Man, let me tell you what. I had an excellent, excellent turnout on this uh, on this little contest deal going on. And uh, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for coming on, making a comment, dropping some questions, and thank you to everybody who has subscribed to me. Um, I'm telling you, I'm going to get some videos out that's going to just, it's going to be awesome. Uh, just stick to it. And listen, <clears throat> this ain't going to be the last time. It ain't going to be much longer, and I'll be at 500 subscribers. As soon as I hit 500 subscribers, another uh, contest is going to be put out for those um uh, for those subscribers and each time that I do a uh, subscription giveaway then prizes are gonna keep getting better and better so without any further ado let me start off with say um, telling you I told you I was gonna go in my subscription list and pick one um, I went online done like a little number uh, generator and picked a number then started going through my uh, subscription list countdown and the one that the the winner from my subscription list is a Stephen Sutton. Uh, Stephen Sutton, that's the winner from that. Uh, listen uh, to Stephen and the rest of them that I pick. I will uh, drop you an email, make a comment on a video. Uh, if you see it here, I'll leave my uh, my email address down down in the bottom. It's uh, backwoodsraised at yahoo.com. Uh, send me uh, your name and, and uh, mailing address, and I'll get this mailed out. Now, I will tell you, you only have three days to get that to me. After three days, I'm going to pick somebody else, somebody else's name and send that to them, so you don't want to miss out on this. All right, so here's what I want to do. I want to go ahead and uh, pick the other four names uh, in the drawing. I got my coonskin hat here. got everybody's name in the hat and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna pick the other four names so y'all know who who the winners are because i know y'all been waiting for quite some time and uh i'm gonna go ahead and get those taken care of and then i'll get to the uh the questions do a little q a after that so if you want to hang out listen to a couple answers that to y'all's questions get to know me a little bit better uh that'd be well and good but let's go ahead and get to what y'all been waiting for we're gonna start picking some names come on let's do it Number one, get these names all mixed up. First name to be drawn is Jerome B. Farm. Jerome B. Farm. Number one, put that right there beside me. I'm going to get you a little metro cent. Need your, uh, your name and your shipping address. Get that over to you. All right, going for another one. Got one. The winner is Amber and John. Amber and John. Congratulations. Let's pick let's pick one more here. Let's get let's get another name. Oh, 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 I got one. Got one. We have Coping alone. Coping alone. Alrighty. We got one more. We got one more, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Last but not least. Get those good mixed up. And then pick one. Make sure I just got one. Alrighty. And the winner is <laughs> Two Family Homestead. Two Family Homestead. Congratulations, everybody. Alrighty. Let's hop on over into them questions. I had a couple questions about my coon skin hat. It's right here, boy. Now, the tail is real. The, uh, the fur part is not. I got this at... Um, it's kind of like a store, like a Tractor Supply uh, here in Magnolia, Arkansas. That's where I got the hat. I did not make it. Um, I wish I was. I wish I could make a hat though. Um, let's see. Favorite food. 
Uh, I'm going to have to say spaghetti is my favorite food. Now, I had somebody ask me, what's my favorite um, country-style meal? I'm going to have to say, um, like, 15 bean soup with cornbread or black-eyed peas uh, with cornbread. Uh, red beans and rice with cornbread. Anything has to do with cornbread, I'm all about it. Um, why did you quit law enforcement? Um, I quit law enforcement because... Um, I've been in law enforcement for nine years, and then I ended up having my little girl. She's one and a half years old now. Well, when I had her, uh, before I had her, everything was great as far as, you know, the pay-wise. Uh, but after I had her, uh, of course, the, the pay uh, was not keeping up with um, the financial situation at the house. So I took the, the decision on myself to change careers, to find a better paying job. And uh, that's the reason why I decided to go ahead and quit law enforcement uh, to to better my to better my family. <clears throat> okay, so Sue Wood asked, uh, "Have you ever been to a reenactment?" Uh, no, I've never been to a re uh, reenactment. The only the only thing as far as reenactment I've been to is over in Texas. I went to the Renaissance Fair, and uh, they've done some you know knights and stuff like that, uh, sword fighting and stuff like that, but never been to an actual reenactment uh, where, you know, different civil wars do stuff like that. Um, has somebody asked me, where do I live? They live in North Arkansas. I live in South Arkansas. I live uh, right at the Arkansas-Louisiana border. Um, I'm like 30 minutes from uh, Magnolia, Magnolia, Arkansas. Um, Arkansas or Texas, which one? Uh, do you like better? Well, I'm going to have to say right now, Arkansas, because in Texas, I ended up getting my arms uh, squished by a forklift, and my wife ended up getting really bad sick, and we didn't know exactly what was going on, but we got that figured out, um, and she's better now, but we we moved, and Arkansas was just... It, it, we didn't have a good first impression with, with, uh, with Texas, I mean... Texas was just, it, it was bad. We didn't have a good first uh, impression. So we moved, and I'm going to say right now, Arkansas. And then it was asked, uh, will I go back to Texas? I don't plan on going back to Texas uh, anytime soon. So I'm going to stick, I'm gonna stick in, in, in Arkansas for a little while. Uh, my wife, she's got some land here, and we, we plan on getting us a good place and, and putting on her land and, you know, Raising, raising our girl up, raising my little girl up, our little girl up in the country, and uh, the country style living. I'm all about it, baby. All right. So, uh, Backwoods Law asked, uh, "What is one thing that really, you know, pisses me off that some jack wagon will do since I, since I've been out in law enforcement? You know, what what is something that I see somebody doing that really ticks me off?" and I get, you know, I've been thinking about that question because it's it's really hard. Um, you know, when when you when you're in law enforcement, there's certain deals that you you do. Like when I was working for Men and Police Department, there were certain uh, city ordinances that you had to do, and you know, loud loud music. You know, they didn't really uh, take too kind to loud music and stuff like that. Um, I guess I guess I'm gonna have to say just just traffic violations, man. I just it really burns me up, you know. See somebody, you know, either running stop signs or or you know speeding down the road just nonstop, you know, reckless driving, uh, not using your blinker and stuff like that. I mean, traffic traffic accidents is it the 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 rate that accidents are is just it's ungodly and. That was the main thing whenever I was doing law enforcement is just making sure that people are on the road on the road safe. I mean, you got a um, couple couple tons of metal going down the road, and then you act stupid and end up hitting somebody else. It causes a lot of damage and it's caused a lot of lives. Uh, most of these accidents. So just I'm gonna have to say traffic violations, man. Somebody weaving in and out of traffic, flying down the road, not, you know, you don't need to do that. There's not a fire. You don't need to be going that fast. Slow down, enjoy life, and everybody will get home safe. Had somebody ask me uh, about, you know, some more food. Uh, what is my favorite dessert? I'm going to have to go with peach cobbler. Um, 
FLP, his question was, what makes the best barbecue plate? Uh, that is a really good question, FLP. Uh, me and my wife, we had a long discussion about this today, as a matter of fact. What makes the best barbecue plate? Um, if I'm going to go to a barbecue, or if I'm going to have a barbecue, you can guarantee you, I can guarantee you it's going to be either barbecue chicken or barbecued uh, uh, pork ribs, the uh, country style ribs, boneless. Man, barbecued up, that stuff is good. Then you're going to want to have some uh, a good potato salad. Uh, right next to that, you need to have some uh, good old uh, baked beans, barbecue baked beans, and a nice roll. And uh, to wash all that down, you need a good old glass of ice sweet tea. Man, tell you what, where is it at? Had had somebody ask me, do I do I know the meaning of AR-15? Since it's my favorite gun to shoot, do I know the meaning of it without looking it up? As a matter of fact, yes, I do. Because in the police academy, we did go over uh, the, AR, the AR-15s, the AK-47s, all that. And uh, AR-15 does not mean assault rifle uh, or an automatic rifle. Uh, AR-15 is Armalite Rifle. Uh, Armalite Rifle, it was named after the company in the 1950s. 50s. So if you hear AR-15, it's not an assault rifle, it's not an automatic rifle, it's Armalite rifle. Alrighty, so last but not least, and uh, actually one of the winners, uh, Jerome B. Farm, said, Will you do a sue pick, a suey pig call on your video? Uh, and a little, a little uh, fun fact for you. I've actually won first place in a chicken clucking contest. I'm going to have to get with my mom at uh, Sun Rock Homestead to get that video and let y'all watch it. That is a crack up. So, I tell you what, Jerome B. Farm, I really had, I really was thinking about this one because I've watched some of them and I was like, man, I can't do a suey pig call. That looks ridiculous. But I think I'm going to do it for you just because you are one of the winners. I'm going to have to step out in the yard, though, because I'm right here by the house, and my little girl's inside sleeping. So, let's get on out in the yard, and let's go suey pig call. All right, we're back out here in the open, so let's uh, let's try that old suey pig call. Yeah, pig. Yeah, pig, 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 pig. Suey, suey. Yeah, pig, 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 pig. Suey. Boy, how to get those pigs are coming up in the heat. All right, guys and gals. Well, that's going to be it. Thank you all, everybody, who uh, commented on the videos. And uh, congratulations to all the winners that I picked today. And, uh, you know, tell all your friends, tell all your family, your mom and them, come over, over to uh, Spice's channel, Backwoods Raised. Hit that subscription button if you like me. And as uh, soon as we hit 500, we're going to do some more giveaways. And like I said, each time, just because y'all are so freaking awesome, those uh, prizes are going to keep getting better and better. Thank y'all. Have a wonderful day. Remember, everybody's got a little backwoods in them. I'll catch you later.